What's up guys, today I'm going to be taking you step by step through how to sell sneakers on the Go app. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, turn those notifications on so that you do not miss any future videos. Now all you have to do is follow these simple steps and you'll be making money reselling sneakers on the Goat app. First things first, just like any other selling platform, you have to create an account. Go to your app store, search Go, and download the app. Now once that app downloads, make sure you enter all of your accurate personal information. It's really important that your bank information, your personal information, shipping information, everything is entered correctly because you're going to be using all these things in the future, but also Goat app is going to use these things to verify you as a seller. Goat takes necessary precautions to make sure that all of their sellers are valid. For my personal verification, all I had to do was tag GOAT in some photos that I had posted on Instagram where I was involved with the sneaker community, whether that be selling shoes, buying shoes, something legitimate that had my name linked to it. Once GOAT app saw that I was a legit sneaker reseller and saw the references on my accounts, they approved me to sell on the app. So once you're approved to be a seller on the GOAT app, you're ready to start listing right away. Open your app and go to the sell tab. After you've selected the sell tab, search the sneakers that you're wanting to sell. For this example, I'm listing a pair of the Yeezy 350 V2 Salt colorway. Once I search the sneaker that I'm wanting to sell, I can click on the photo of that sneaker, and from there it will show you what the lowest price listing is active at that time. To get immediate attention to sell your listing, you're going to have to price your sneakers the lowest. This is specific to listing dead stock or brand new pairs. Now if you're selling used pairs, it doesn't matter. You're going to have to take photos of those sneakers and list those under the use tab and in this type of listing all of the prices and all the photos of the sneakers listed will be shown when you're selling brand new sneakers the lowest priced sneaker will sell first so if you price competitively your sneaker will be the lowest priced on the market at that point in time the app is going to ask you what condition your sneakers are in whether that be brand new with box brand new without box make sure you select those details accurately you do not want problems with your sneakers whenever they touch down at the authentication center you do not want to have to be responsible responsible for paying to have those sneakers shipped back to you. So again, make sure your details are accurate. For this example, my sneakers are new with box. So after I selected that, it moved me on to the box condition. If your box is damaged, you need to mention so. In my case, everything is new, everything is included, no defects. So I can select that and move on. When you first start selling on the Goat app, you are going to have to take photos of your sneakers. Goat will have you open your camera. It will put outlines on your camera to show you exactly where to place the sneakers to take your photo. They want multiple different angles of the shoes to post. And eventually, once you make enough sales, you won't even have to take photos of your brand new sneakers anymore. You will always have to take photos of your used sneakers, so keep that in mind. My seller rating is high enough to where I don't have to take photos of shoes. You can also see where I could select to list multiples of the same size. Again, another perk of having a high seller rating. In another video, I'll talk about more perks of having a higher seller rating because this is very important in making sure you get your shoes sold for the highest price possible. Once you've selected all the details about your shoes, taking your photos if you have to, you're ready to rock. Your listing will be active momentarily. Check back on the app, turn your notifications on on the app, or check your email periodically to see if your sneakers have sold. You will only have 24 hours to verify that your sneakers are in hand and ready to ship once a buyer purchases your sneakers. Now I'm gonna show you guys exactly in real time how this all works. So once my next pair of sneakers sells, I will show you exactly how to verify them, ship them, and drop them off and get paid. As soon as your pair of shoes sells on the Goat app, you have 24 hours to confirm the order. Your pair of shoes will have moved from listings to the need to confirm section on the app. I know I listed a pair of Yeezys in my first example. Now we're using a pair of fours because they sold first. After you confirm the order, the button is going to change to generate a prepaid UPS label. Goat takes takes care of your shipping. You're already dealing with that on the back end with your fees. Go ahead and generate that label. Your listing will now move to the need to ship or drop off section on the app and you're going to be emailed a link with your shipping label and your packing slip. Don't be that guy that tries to slap a shipping label on a shoe box and send it away. Take your shoe box, put it in a shipping box, put the packing slip inside of that shipping box, and then attach your shipping label to the outside of your shipping box. Side note, you need boxes like these to ship your shoes in. I'll leave a link below with the most affordable shipping boxes for sneakers, so make sure you tap into that. 
Cop yourself some boxes so that you're ready to sell your sneakers and ship them online. Once you've completed all these steps, all you have to do is make sure that your package is dropped off at a UPS store within three days of you generating that label. If you don't, Goat is very quick to cancel your orders, so make sure you manage your handling time accordingly. If you want to be safe, you can confirm that you dropped off your sneakers at a location, but once those are scanned in, it's going to update automatically. From this point, if you go to your sales section on the app, in the top left corner, you're going to see a button that says credits. You can go there and see your pending funds. This is not going to clear until the authentication process has been completed, so be patient. At this point, all of your work is done. Now you just need to wait for the money to come through. If you've entered all of your payment and personal information on the app correctly like we did from the get-go, you're gonna have a super easy time withdrawing your funds. Once the authentication is complete, those funds will become available to you and you can cash them out immediately. Yes, there is a 2.9% transfer fee on top of all the fees that you've already paid, but that's what we have to deal with on this platform. So once your funds have cleared and you transfer those, they'll show up in your bank account right away or whichever way you decided to withdraw your funds. The Goat app might be the easiest way to sell sneakers online. Make sure you take advantage of this. To see more details on how to sell on other platforms, make sure you subscribe, turn your notifications on. There are going to be more videos and tutorials of those methods posted. If you have any more questions about Goat app, drop those in the comments below or you can hit me up on IG. The handle is the same at all AB sneakers. I hope y'all take advantage of this and make some more money selling sneakers. Thank y'all for watching and do not not forget this is all about sneakers.